<laughs> All right. Why is the kitty in my house? Good Saturday morning, everybody. I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever. It's been like a week. Well, I guess I vlogged Tuesday, so really it hasn't been that long. <laughs> Anyway, I'm on my new camera y'all bear with me. I am I did those Valentine's DIYs on it um, And I had my ring light and stuff. So it was a little bit different on lighting, but I'm just like trying to do my best I feel like it's shaky. I don't know <laughs> I tried to like change settings and stuff. But I'm still working on it So just don't look at it too much and I'll try to get better as the weeks and months go on anyway I'm just lounge wearing it this morning cork the which of my children are outside. McCoy is already outside with Craig. They are um, doing chores and farming and then he said they were gonna go get donuts and I don't know, do some other stuff, haul manure or something. Merritt uh, is gonna go on a, I say play date, what is it called, a hangout. He's going over to his friend's house to play, to hang out, to do whatever they do as little boys. Um, so they're coming to pick him up soon. I just have a lot of stuff to get done around the house today. It's Saturday, like I said. I got some new sheets. I wanna switch out and put my Christmas sheets away. The boys still have their Christmas sheets on. I don't know if I'll get to that today. Um, what else? I got a bunch of stuff from Amazon I wanna show you. I need to put that stuff away. I got a package from a sweet subscriber from Mary from Canada, y'all know her, so we'll open that. Um, just kind of around the house stuff today, so come along for some Saturday fun. All right, I got a bag of All Merit snow gear and stuff. I think they're gonna be playing outside and stuff, so I'll just send that in a bag. <laughs> Winter kid problems. Anyway, let's do a Amazon haul. I also have something to show you here for a review. I'm excited to show you that. Okay, y'all, Sutera reached out and wanted me to review their um, pillow. I said yes right away because y'all know I suffer from like neck pain and headaches and stuff. And I am excited to try this new kind of different uh, form pillow that is really supposed to help with those things. Um, ooh, look, here's the benefits. Energy boost, cooling memory foam, which I adore. Stress reduction, yes please. Restful sleep, back hip and joint relief. Um, let's get this baby open. Relief is only a night's rest away, it says. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um... Let's see if we can do this one-handed. McCoy, do you want to come help me pull this out? Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so as y'all saw, it came in this little kind of skinny box, all wrapped up, and once you start, Koi, come pull it out for me. You pull it out, it just takes on its shape. There we go. Okay, so it just pops right out of that wrapping, and then your head just goes right here. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's so soft already. Oh, I love this. I need to get my sheets out. Um, or actually, I might put my cactus pillowcase on it because that's kind of like, then I know it's my pillow and nobody else can use it. Okay, let me do a little bit of reading here and see what else I can share with y'all. So it says, the unique butterfly design of Sutera's orthopedic contour pillow gives ergonomic, I can't ever say that, support for the back, neck, and shoulders. It does have a funny shape, y'all. Like, how cool. But it says you can sleep on your side, on your back, on your stomach, whatever sleeper, it doesn't matter. Sutera is for anyone who can benefit from a better night's sleep, so everyone. Our orthopedic contour pillow can assist in relieving pressure to the neck, shoulders, back, joints, and hips. High density memory foam assists in temperature regulation, yes, making your night restful and cool, and our unique design was specifically created for back, stomach, and slide sleep side sleepers. I am so excited to try this, y'all. I'm going to get a pillowcase on it and then lay down on it just to see what it feels like. Cool cover. So, you could do a, I will do a pillowcase on it, I'm sure, but you wouldn't have to because this is kind of a removable cover, but I think I'm just going to show you it with, um, without a pillowcase so you can see how it kind of works and how um you can sleep on your side or your back i normally sleep on my side or my back i never sleep on my stomach so i know this is i mean you can sleep on your stomach with this but i know it'll be perfect for me because it's perfect for any kind of sleeper but let's go take it to the bed even though i don't have my new sheets on yet and see how it works okay y'all first impressions it just like cradles your head perfectly can you see that and i love the i don't know if these little flaps are for this but i love to like push my head against my pillow like that it just sort of like envelops your head oh my gosh it feels so good and like my neck is supported i have another kind of um supposed to be help oh gosh supposed to help for um 
back pain and neck pain pillow and I, I mean when they reached out to me I was like yes please send it to me because I was so sick of that pillow because the way it was shaped it didn't um it didn't like give me any support it just like would I don't know it wasn't comfortable but I kept on sleeping on it because I I, I just didn't know what else to do but this what do you think McCoy you're not even in the cradle of it but like I love this now let me see if I was on my side you want to get in the cradle all right wait Oh my gosh, this is like a million times better than that other one. Oh, I just, like the memory foam on it is just like so comfortable. Let me get like all the way on my side. Do you want to try it, McCoy? You might steal it from me. Just like on my side like this. Ah, uh, I haven't even had a night's sleep on it yet and I already love it, y'all. Okay, you want to try it, Coy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you in the little cradle? Is your neck in the cradle? What do you think? Cool. Do you need one too? <laughs> it's just for mommy oh, look how soft it is oh my gosh it's so good i mean it just fits your your head and your neck perfectly try on your stomach do you ever sleep you do sleep on your stomach i do <laughs> yeah, not I do. <laughs> I do not sleep on the stomach he does what do you think no no it's not on your stomach you put your head in the same place but you just sleep on your stomach oh <laughs> but turn your head to the side how's that feel yeah. So nice. I always sleep like Oh my gosh. I'm so but, excited but about I this, y'all. Like Did you? Bless your heart. Okay, y'all. I brought it back in here for some better light. But I want to make sure that you knew that I have a 20% off link. Link down below in the description box for this pillow. The Dream Deep Pillow. Um, so if you want to try it out as well. And I'll keep you updated on it too. Like as the nights go on and how my neck feels and how my... It's not my back. It's just my neck. I only have pain in my neck. Um, which it's supposed to help with that. And like tension and all of that. So um, I will for sure keep you posted on how it works throughout the weeks um, to come. So... Be sure and check out the link below um, if you want to get yourself one of these amazing pillows. Um, this is just a lot of my usuals. I got some Zip Fizz. I did. Oh, I haven't told y'all this yet. I put my little tree from my bedroom, um, my flamingo tree. Is it going to focus? Oh, it's really pretty unfocused. Um, uh, I put it in here in the living room because I just couldn't bear to put it away. And I thought it was so cute for like a flam not a flamingo, a Valentine's tree. Why is it not focusing? Anyway, I got these uh, from Amazon. They're little conversation heart um, ornaments. Um, I'm not sure that I love them because they're like, <sighs> y'all, this camera. Is it focusing? Um, they are like orange and yellow and I, I need them to be like pink and purple and different color green let me open them okay i think we can see them better now but anyway i'm gonna try and see how they look on there and see how it does but otherwise i can just leave it like this and put i did get order some ribbon <laughs> it's not gonna focus i did order some ribbon for it to make like a bow topper some like valentine's ribbon and if i just leave it like that with no ornaments that's fine too i just couldn't bear to put it away y'all so i didn't um <laughs> let's see what else i got here I did get some Quest cookies. I ate one of these this morning. I love these Quest cookies, just chocolate chips. And I y'all know, this is like my third repurchase of the Quest uh, peanut butter cups. They are so good, y'all. Obsessed. I got some of those. Um, Fat Snacks crackers. Y'all know I love these. I did get the, um, let's see. I got the variety box this time. So I've always just had the plain, which I adore. But this time I got the cheddar ones and let's see what else the everything i guess these are kind of like everything but the bagel um kind of seasoning and then this is just the regular just the original sea salt i love those they're so good but these over here i have to fill up my little keto cabinet it's still kind of organized, but I might try to fix that in the new year, too. I did order some huevos. We had date night last night, um, and I took the only deal flavor that came in it. I took those last night to the movies <laughs> so I could have a snack. Um, I, we did buy stuff from the movies, too, like drinks and stuff, but I just can't have any of that candy or popcorn, so I brought these. Um, these are the huevos rancheros and then the sour cream and onion. The deal is my favorite, but I couldn't just buy the deal. It wasn't an option, so you had to get the variety pack. I mean, I like these, too. Then, um, oh, well, let me tell you why I'm thinking about it. We saw, we went out to eat and then we saw, how's my lighting? Is it okay over here now? Um, we went to see the uh, News of the World. Is that what it's called? Also, this camera like is much more cropped in than my other one. And I feel like I have to put my arm out so far so I'm not like all like... <laughs> 
in your face. Anyway, News of the World was so good. It was sort of like a Western kind of Texas history. Um, like this um, man has to bring a little girl home that was like kidnapped by Indians. And he's trying to like find her home. I loved it. It was so good. Highly recommend if you're kind of into like that sort of western kind of movie anyway um it was fun we had a good night out um so i did pick these up they had really good reviews um let's see if they're gonna focus i guess i need to do some reading about this camera y'all because i just have it on auto and usually with my other camera i have like all these settings set and i don't have that done yet and maybe that's a problem anyway they are the kevin's natural food brand and i got two different packs they come in through to a pack i just struggle y'all know this with like um easy meals especially on keto and i thought that these would be really good because this is just like uh you use steak um a teaspoon of cooking oil and a large pan and then you just use that use this sauce and you kind of have a meal and you put a veggie with it so i got the korean barbecue sauce i got the teriyaki sauce because i've been dying for some stir fry and i can eat stir fry vegetables and we can just do cauliflower rice so that sounds so good i have not tried these yet y'all but they um had really good reviews so um amazon obviously uh, and then this is just uh classic taco sauce you just use a pound of ground beef cooking oil and then a large pan and then what are the other ones i got oh cilantro lime sauce this looked good with some steak and then what's this one? Coconut. Yeah, Thai coconut sauce. That sounds good with chicken. It's just like easy kind of like little sauces you can put with meat and have a meal quickly, which is kind of just what I need right now. So, and then I got the tomatillo taco sauce. So that sounds so good. I'm excited to try those. Maybe we might get one of those tonight. I don't know. Um, oh, and then I did, uh, let me open this. I did uh, go ahead and get another strap for my purse, y'all. The pink purse. I'll have to show this on it. I think this is a little bit wider than my other ones. This is so gorgeous. It's like embroidered, which y'all know I love my embroidery. Where is my purse? Um, here it is down here. I think it's going to match perfectly with it. How cute is that? Oh, it is bigger too. And it's so cute. I originally... Um, well, I got it because we are planning on going to um, the Black Hills for a big like stock show rodeo. Ouch, I just hit my knee. Um, we used to go every year to this. Like Merritt and McCoy both would ride um, sheep at this, at like mutton bust in the rodeo. And like it was this big thing we went every year. Next up is Merritt, five year old from Iowa. That's an 86 for Merrick. And Craig also has some friends there that he, that he helps um, fit cattle and show cattle at this big show. Anyway, um, for the past two years, we've gone to New Orleans and then San Antonio for a big cattleman's convention that Craig had to go to. And anyway, because of COVID, it got canceled or postponed till the summer. So we don't have to go to it this year. So we were like, oh, we should go back to the Black Hills. We haven't been in so long. So just Craig and I are gonna go. The boys are gonna stay here um, because they have school and whatever else. Like they can't mutton bust anymore. They're too old. So I mean, it would be fun for them to go, but we are meeting up. I'm gonna be chatty today, y'all. Are you ready for this? <laughs> We are meeting up with, um, I told y'all before that I was on the judging team in college and Craig was on the judging team at his college at South Dakota State. And so all the guys and the wives are pretty good friends and we like to get together. I mean, we haven't seen them in a long time, so it's about time we get together. So we're having kind of like a reunion um, and we're all going and staying in the same hotel and going to like go to a concert and different stuff. So um, anyway, long story long, I wanted a strap for my purse to like, they have, I guess they're still having a trade show. I don't know because of COVID they may not, but they usually have a big trade show with like shopping and this, that, and the other. And I just wanted to bring my pink purse with a strap so that way I wouldn't like having to like uh, carry on my big Consuela purse the whole time. And I thought, ooh, I wonder if they have, because remember at the Mexican market, I was looking for an embroidered strap and I could never find one. Um, and this is sort of like a Western cowgirl uh, kind of event and I wanted to have embroidery. So that is why I got that to take to the, <laughs> to take to the black hills so that i can have hands free while we're doing all this stuff and then it still looks like western and cute so blah 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 i got a purse strap it's super cute anyway the last thing i got let me show you this is um 
these little heart post-it notes. I can link, I, I suppose I'll just link all this on Amazon. I don't do like Amazon affiliate. I tried it one time and it never really caught on. I didn't have very many subscribers in, so maybe I'll try it again because I know y'all love for me to leave links, but um, I got these on Amazon. Oh, somebody texted me, I better check that. Uh, for Valentine's Day for the boys, um, I'm gonna start, they're just post-it notes. I'm gonna start um february 1st and i'm going to put like a post-it note on their door every day until valentine's day so 14 days and i'm just going to put like things that i love about them so every day will be something different about why we love them and whatever just something cute to i don't know make valentine's festive and i thought that would be something fun for them to wake up every morning and see what um what we wrote on their little notes so i got the heart post-its to do that kind of like a countdown kind of deal but no candy because <laughs> We have got so much candy, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got everything over here in my little keto cabinet. I can see real quick, I had to put my leftover fat snacks crackers up there. Uh, and probably, this might be a New Year's organization project, actually. I have my Max Mallows over here. And like, it's not always like this, because obviously I eat this stuff. But I like to keep all of my like, chocolatey, snacky things down here. Um, and then kind of chips. And I don't have any Quest chips right now either, which I always keep in here too. So... I'm thinking I might have to move, these are two um, little boxes of sprinkles. I'm thinking I might have to try to find a spot up there for those so I can have this whole drawer for my keto stuff. <laughs> Do I really need a whole cabinet for keto? Anyway, um, yeah, I might have to be putting that on my list and buy some organizers and stuff and get that done. So, um, and maybe I can do it to where it's like facing this way so I can like pull it out and get stuff out of it, not facing like front like maximize the space. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think on that, but right now I got all that put away. What'd you come in here to get? Um, guys a wallet. Cause what are you gonna go get? Get donuts. What are you gonna bring me? Nothing. <laughs> How about a Diet Dr. Pepper? You don't have your bibs on, aren't your legs cold? Don't mind my mess, y'all. Okay, Um, I'm still working on this. Maybe they'll bring me a pop. Stay tuned. I guess I should have gotten two packets to fill this all the way up, but this will do for now. It just goes right over here in its little place of honor. Perfect for every morning. Now I need to get this cleaned up. But first, I need to make me an actual zip fizz. <laughs> I did put my Christmas cup away and I pulled this one out because I thought it kind of looked conversation heart uh, Valentine-y. But I need to design something um, to put on here for like a fun like... I don't know, Valentine's season cup, because y'all know I love a good seasonal themed cup. Anyway, I'm going to make my Zip Fizz, and then what am I going to do? I don't know. It's weird to not have anything to edit. Um, I'm all caught up, and this video, I'm trying to decide if this video is going to go up Wednesday or Friday, because I have videos to go up already on um, Monday and Wednesday, but Wednesday's video is not going up till 4.30. It's a craft video, and so I'm like, ooh, do I give them a vlog and then give them another craft video? <laughs> two in one day i did that yesterday and y'all loved it anyway um i don't know i'll find something to do i need to get those did i tell you about the sheets yeah i need to get the sheets washed i have a pillow to review that's what that was over there so i need to get all that out um and just get this day going it's early yet though it's only like 9 14 on a saturday morning like i am rolling i mean is that donut big enough what kind did you get jelly filled let me see what kind of jelly Ooh, raspberry or something? What'd you get, farmer? Everybody missed you in the last vlog, Craig. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, they went to a different uh, gas station than the one they usually go to, and they didn't have Diet Dr. Pepper on tap. Lame. But I'm drinking my Zip Fizz, so it's fine. I am just sitting down answering like comments from yesterday's two videos, so I need to get caught up on comments. I kind of forgot about that, so I'm going to do that now. They Are y'all heading back outside? I You're not playing? Who wants cheese toast? Okay. Mary wants Mary cheese toast, so I guess I better get on that. Are you so serious about it? <laughs> so our little guitar player is wanting to learn some more about his guitar and I obviously have no idea. I think Craig played, what did daddy play? The bass? Is that a guitar thing? He had a guitar for a long time. Um, like a bass, a bass guitar? Y'all, I am not musical at all. Um, anyway, but Craig says he doesn't know how to teach him. So I looked on, um, out school that's like really popular right now because of COVID and everything. Um, so 
uh, I found him a class for his age range and it's like be beginner guitar and it's like a four week class and you do it once a week and it's like an hour long and you do it over Zoom or whatever. Um, and she only takes like two to three students at a time so I think that will really work for him. Whoa. Um, Thank you. And does it start till February? I'm gonna sign him up for that so that he can kind of just learn at least the basics Wait, of playing Mom, the guitar. And then I think gotta make sure there's still spaces because I haven't looked at it in a while. Anyway, um, I meant to do it and then I kept forgetting because uh, they didn't have like PayPal and I had to get my actual like credit card out and that takes too much effort. So I haven't done it yet. Anyway, I think once he passes like this level, then she has like other ones to like graduate to and stuff. I just thought like right now, and honestly, I don't even know like in our in our area Dad, in our does, um, neighborhood. Do cowboy music? I don't know, baby. Um, he wants to learn cowboy music. Uh, if they even, I'm sure somebody teaches guitar around here, but I just thought this would kind of be like a fun little thing for him to do and at least learn a little bit. So I know Merritt's getting ready to go. He's excited. So, um, I'm going to sign him up for that. And of course I'll take you along, not take you along, but I'll let you know how we, what we think about it and how it all goes and all that. Um, I tried to find something for Merritt and his drums, but everything was like regular drums, not like the electronic drums he had because he really doesn't know how to play those either. But I might try to look a little bit more for that and see if we can sign Merritt up for one too. So they can both, um, have a little zoom musical class. <laughs> all right. Why is Ow, the kitty out. in my house? Look how big she is y'all. How big are you now? Why are you so fluffy? She is. We came home and she was just like huge. No, she was. Look a little, at her! Oh my gosh, she's so big. She was a little baby when she when we. No, she wasn't a baby when we left for Christmas for Mississippi. She was a big girl. All right, Craig is not in. We are being rebels since we're just here by ourselves, me and McCoy, that nobody should leave us alone. I am having one of my enlightened, um, what is this one, chocolate, dark chocolate bars? And he is having a broken popsicle singing country roads. We might have a lunch later, stay tuned. Okay, Koi wanted some chips. I decided to open up my little fat snack crackers. These are good, the cheddar flavor ones, they're like, they kind of taste like Cheez-Its, but better in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, they're good. I didn't try the, what do you want? Fanta. Okay, Fanta. Um, I haven't tried the everything but the bagel ones yet, but those are good, the cheddar ones are good. We're just kind of scrounging, looking around, finding stuff to eat. I don't know what Craig's doing, I need to call him. Oh gosh, the trees are all iced over. Must've got, did it Mom, rain last Mom. night? I never know what's going on with the weather. Oh, oh goodness. Hang on. All right, Koi's gonna have his Fanta. We are gonna go cuddle on the couch and watch a movie, maybe a couple of movies, and enjoy this lazy Saturday. All right, we are going to watch Soul, the new um, movie on Disney. Merritt already watched it on his iPad, so it's Koi's and I's turn now. Restart. Okay. It's sad but true, but it's time to put the flamingos away, wash them and put them away for next year. We did love this kind of flannel weight of these sheets so much that I went ahead and bought us some. Um, kind of flannel, uh, cotton flannel sheets from Amazon. I just love this. They weren't too hot, at least the flamingos one. The flamingos were not, so I'm hoping that these aren't either. So I just washed them, I brought them up from the dryer, and I'm going to make our bed. It looks so nice. I'm so happy to have this done. Now I just gotta figure out which pillowcase I'm gonna use on my new Sutera. Ugh, freshly made bed, y'all. It's worth it. <laughs> I am over here brewing my coffee, frothing up my milk. I'm still uh, completely obsessed with this, y'all. It's so good. But I was thinking I needed to bring down, um, this is kind of my coffee tea area. I needed to bring down, I think I just have a few Valentine mugs. I need to bring them down to this level where I keep everything or my, you know, holiday specific mugs and then put my Christmas ones up for the season. This is kind of my tea storage. I know I showed you that before. Um, with all my little tea bags that I just love. I did that. Did I do that this fall or this summer? I, anyway, I don't know when I did it, but I have just been totally loving it. Is that in focus? That's going to be this whole video. Is it in focus? Is this focusing? I don't know what's happening. Anyway, I'm going to take a minute here and switch all of these out. I don't know whether... I think I showed you this. I put all this stuff away. This is not how this is gonna look. I just have it out for now. Um, but I got this mug at TJ Maxx in December and I don't know if I wanna actually drink out of it 
or use it for decor. So I'm just leaving it here for now. Is that, oh, I have an XOXO mug too, but I'll probably for sure use that for decor. But anyway, enough talking. Let me, oh, is my coffee ready? I need to put this stuff away, but it is what it is. Um, Y'all have to comment down below if you got one of these or have one or have always had one. But I mean, can we just take a moment? Look at that. <laughs> I should learn how to do like latte art. What do y'all think? <laughs> okay, I pulled my um, Valentine's and I went ahead and pulled the Easter ones down too because there was not enough room up there to put my fall and Christmas ones. So I'll have my Valentine and Easter ones, which I only have this one. And then of course my hot mama one, which, oh, I thought something was going to fall. Yeah, something already fell. My fall, y'all. Um, this is my only other kind of Valentine's mug, which is not very Valentine-y. But anyway, I might use that other one with the conversation hearts to actually drink out of but with all this foamy milk you really need one of those big ray dunn mugs even though i know some of y'all think they're not fun to drink out of i love them but i didn't even drop this y'all like another mug dropped on top of it when i was moving everything i'm so upset i want to cry because i bought this off macari for probably way too much money and it had the green i can't even show you because it's broken but it had like the green um inside how this one's red it was green oh, I'm so bummed. Like, really, out of all these mugs I had, I had to break the Ray Dunn one? Of course. Ugh. At least there's always coffee with amazing froth milk to make me feel better. <laughs> this one's back inside. Your face is so dirty. You were outside playing on the snow tube. Did you love it? You didn't have to share it with Merritt? Um, so he's going to get in the tub now and play with those animals that, what are they called? Scribble animals? You can, like, write on them. And, um, are we going to focus? Woo! My battery's dying though. Um, they're like little white, kind of fuzzy. Bring me one, Koi animals. We got them. Do we do them this summer? It's Crayola scribblers or something, and they have like little pens, and you write on them. I just keep them in the bathtub because it's easier that way. So he's gonna go take a nice long warm bath and play with the scribble animals here. Let's see. How many do we have? We have a water buffalo. Oh, this one's all colored. They're just like this, and then you um. We got like a bunch of different little special markers that come with them. Anyway, that's what he's doing. I'm gonna have my coffee. Okay, time for supper, y'all. I These all needed like steak, and I think one of them was chicken, and we just weren't feeling that tonight. So we decided to go ahead and do the classic taco sauce because I have hamburger ready to go. So you just do ground beef, a teaspoon of cooking oil, and a pan, um, salt and pepper, uh, get the pan hot, put the beef in, simmer in the sauce. You can read the directions if you get it, but we're going to try this now so we can have some tacos tonight. Oh my goodness, I haven't tasted it yet, but it smells so delicious, y'all. I think I showed you this. It's just the classic taco. They come in packs of three, so honestly, I probably wouldn't have gotten this because I like to use my taco seasoning, but it came with some other ones that I wanted to try, so um, I'm excited to try it tonight. All right, y'all, for the side, I'm going to do kind of like a Spanish sort of vegetable. I use Usually use cauliflower rice before I went keto we did corn but I don't have any cauliflower rice so I'm just gonna use this kind of like broccoli cauliflower mix and you put green chilies in it um, cream cheese butter garlic powder and cumin I really don't have any um, measurements I just sort of dump it all in and mix it all together and it tastes delicious so I have not tried it with broccoli oh it's hot it's hot it's hot baby just a little tiny bite it is spicy I did taste it what do you think don't put it back in the pan Ugh. Spicy, isn't it? It's good flavor though. Anyway, we're gonna try this and see how it tastes. You are just a little mouse. It is yummy, y'all. I'm excited to try the other ones. I'll take you along for that, of course. You know I will, but right now it's supper time. Oh my gosh, I just opened up this box for Mary and got the stuff out that was for me. I left the rest over here so that uh, when Mary gets home, he can open it with Koi. Mary, you are too much. <laughs> How much fun? I mean, this might be my favorite. <laughs> it's the cutest little pen. Of course, it's not going to focus. It's like um, the color changing pens. I'm totally putting this in my church bag. How fun. The boys never let me use their pens at church. And how cute are these? Um, Faith sent me a little, uh, I think it was crossword, a little book like that too. I didn't know those were things. How perfect just to like stick in your purse and have like, you know, when you have downtime or you're waiting on something or whatever. I love that. And look at all these nails she sent. Oh my goodness. And socks. And even she sent sunflower seeds for Craig. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, and this, I'm totally putting this with my flamingo stuff for my tree in my room. I just, y'all, Canada has the best stuff. Oh my gosh, how fun is this? And little face wipes with flamingos on them and candies and little bags and craft stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I almost forgot to show y'all the sprinkles. They're like flamingo sprinkles, y'all. I can't even handle it. How cute is that? Greg's like, what? I'm like, yes. And then this little trinket tray is gonna be perfect in my, in my um, makeup closet. And then the little cactus can go down in the laundry room. Oh my God. Did I show you this? Look at this ornament with the little deer. Ah, oh, so cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mary. That is so sweet. I mean, do y'all know me or do y'all know me? Oh my goodness. I can't wait to have the boys open theirs too. Mary should be home in just a little while and then we'll see all those goodies too. I already peeked and it is crazy. I just took another look in that huge box and look what I found. This is not for the boys, they're for me. Mary, I'm dying. <laughs> Mary is home and they're gonna open Last the package from Mary. Y'all remember Mary's little boy likes to watch too. Can y'all tell him hi? hi? They're from Canada. Should we go to Canada sometime? Let's this? do it. Look at this. It's a hockey pencil. Look, Another guy. Did you see this? Look at the little kitties that you get to play with in this game. Oh my yeah, gosh. Is yes, more Legos. Yeah, oh, she yours. did say she did say this book is for you, Merritt. She said that one was for you, and this one was for you. We gotta add these to our Christmas um, countdown. Summer, and, and this one is to share. That one's called Jack Samurai. Frost Santa. Versus the this animal. is one of those where you pick your path with like who you want to win or whatever, and that's how you read Can the book. Can we open our Minecraft thing? Oh, you got a Minecraft? Hey, did you have fun? Yeah. On your, what do we call it, hangouts? You had fun? Yeah. What did you get to do? All different kinds of things. What did you get to ride on? The snowmobile. Yeah, was it so much fun? Yeah. Cool, when Koi goes to visit his friend, he has a four-wheeler, doesn't he? Oh boy, here we go. All right, let's keep on opening the package. Oh my. This kind of tape. More of what? Oh my gosh, y'all look at this. Rotate. More of rotate. Let me see the little, he just opened his Minecraft. Look at all the pins. And there's, oh, I saw something else that I thought was cool. This is like that um, scratch art stuff we did at Christmas that you scratch and you make um, different designs on it. You can take that to church. Look at these socks. Oh, we'll have to save these for next Christmas. How sweet. Cactus dinosaurs. And look at these, Koi. I'm not trading. Koi, oh, did you get a red one? These um, little Minecraft guys have yeah, little rollers two. on the bottom. There's two. Not that anything is going to focus, but look at that. Coca-Cola Mint Tic Is that Coca-Cola too? Wait, this one's peppermint, I think. This one's candy cane, Mary, but that one is for you since you love candy cane. And now what's this? Beasties, a hundred bewildering Wait, trivia flag charts. Oh my gosh, look at this. We love trivia. Did y'all see this? This might be fun for the car too. And there were some other like little, oh, these little games, Brain Busters. I'm telling y'all, Canada is where it's at. Brain Busters Environment, ooh, we'll like that one. Are they good? And Brain Busters Dinosaurs. I think these are just like little trivia questions. Yeah, I saw that too. Do you have one too? There's one for both of you. It's green though, green hot chocolate. Like when Yay. you make it, it's gonna be green. And little markers, we can take these to church. Yeah. The scented ones, y'all know we love those. Oh my Escape God. the room the same challenge. Escape room challenge? I mean, it just goes on and on and on. All the Legos. Oh, this one was Koi's. Hey, she said y'all had to choose between Legos. Um, because there, there were different ones of each. Is that more Tic Tacs? Oh, these are more markers too. How fun. Oh, and they're like all Christmas scents. We might save these for next year. Stay tuned. Um, oh, and what are these? Oh, these little wood things that you build. I've seen these before, but they don't, they've never had any. Ah, wait, a flamingo. It's a flamingo. Oh my gosh, how fun. Thank, Thank you, you, Mary and family. <laughs> we love it, Mary. Thank you so much. I almost forgot she had a few things set aside that was for Merritt's birthday. What's, what was that? Oh, it was like Diary of a Wimpy Read Kid. Whenever you are a wimpy kid. Di Let me see. It was like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Like little postcards you can send to your friends. Mama, look, remember it was. What is this? Oh, 
Ooh, little Elsie's. Hot Wheels. Oh my goodness. I'm excited to play all these games. Merritt, what else is in your bag? Yeah. Hey, a little Lego set. Which one is it? A construction? Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you for thinking of him. Oh, is there something else in there too? Oh, that might have been for me. A little truck. To Mira, happy birthday. Oh, the tag. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Thank you. They're opening up the big bites. I don't think they've ever had these before. Oh my gosh. Did they come out of that thing and bite you? Yeah? Which one did you get, Merritt? Mm -hmm. We're going to wait on the Lost Kitties and some of the other Mine bigger says things. Dare Ooze to unbox the bite. Dare to unbox the bite. Mer hey, she also got Merit a book about young screw. I think I showed you the books, yeah. Anyway, oh my goodness, so much fun. Thank you so much, Mary. Uh, they're gonna open up a few more things there. Sorry to throw that away. Um, and save some stuff for tomorrow too. Um, I think I'm gonna end this one here because it's getting late. They want to um, decorate the little Valentine tree quick and get that done. So maybe we'll do that quick and then head to bed because we gotta go to church in the morning, y'all. Thanks so much for following us along today. Subscribe to my channel. See you dumbest thing. And we'll see you uh, almost at tomorrow. I'm so used to Vlogmas, y'all. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.